Hey, 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 here's Captain K. Ahoy, you landlubbers, and welcome aboard my channel. This is Captain Concept, and today we're talking about oil processing and how we're going to automate that. Now, the thing with oil processing is those tanks tend to fill up, and if you use one or the other, as soon as one of them is full, the plant stops working. So we want to use some circuit magic to control the cracking of oil to balance those tanks so that our oil refinery keeps going. Now there is two ways to do this. One is by connecting a small pump to the circuit network and set it to a condition like let's say we have uh, more heavy oil than light oil so let's start pump that stuff through to the chemical plant that'll then automatically crack it down. Now the way I prefer to do it is by using one of those new fancy power switches. I love them, they look cool and also they let you power on and off things like for example, where did it go? Here, um, multiple chemical plants. Let's say I want to place down a second one here for the cracking of oil. If I place down a power pole here this one is right now powering both um, chemical plants and if I switch this off it'll also switch off both plants. Also if you notice to the right hand side it says drain 7 kilowatt. That means even if it's not cracking down oil it'll use 7 kilowatt. So by switching off those two simultaneously through that uh, power switch I'm gonna save 14 kilowatt when not needed. It's not much but hey every kilowatt counts. So the way we're going to do this is by first disconnecting this power pole from the network. You can do so by hitting shift and then left click. And now the wire is removed. This one doesn't have power and that's what we want. Now to hook this up to the network, it's quite simple. We're going to need two copper cable, one that connects one of the poles that is connected to the network to the power switch and one cable from the power switch, from the other side of the power switch to the electric pole. So this power switch now connects that pole to the network and if I switch it on, chemical plant cracks oil and if I switch it off, it stops. Now I could set up the same um, more heavy oil than light oil condition in this power switch but I want to do it a little more elaborate by using two decider combinators that I'm going to place down here. And the important part is, as you can see, these decider combinators, they do need power for their decider logic. And they are just in reach of uh, that pole, while this plant is just out of reach of that pole. So this one powers those two deciders, but only if this switch is on this pole then powers the plants. So a little detail on side. Now why do we need two desired combinators? That's because I want to set up a certain logic that checks first if we have a certain minimum amount of heavy oil in this tank. So I do this by connecting the storage tank to the input of this desired combinator and then connect the output of this desired combinator to the power switch. This one we set up to check whether heavy oil is bigger than let's say 500. So only if we have more than 500 heavy oil, right now it says 187, we shall output a signal of let's say C for cracking or conversion of oil or whatever. Now the reason we want the minimal amount of heavy oil in here is so that we have some heavy oil left for the production of lubricant. So only if we have enough or if we have a certain reserve, this plant can start down cracking. And the second condition that I want is by connecting up the green wire again from this storage tank to that desire combinator, but also the light oil to this desire combinator and then the output of this desired combinator to the switch again. 
So this one, um, if I hover over it, you can now see it has the input signal of the heavy and the light oil. And here we want to check whether we have more heavy oil than light oil. So only if we have more heavy than light oil, it should start cracking because there is no way to reverse the process. If we have more light oil than heavy oil, we don't want any cracking to go on because otherwise the higher tier tanks are going to fill up and our oil production is going to stop. So if this condition is true, output a signal C as well. And now I can see this one is outputting a signal C, this one isn't. So only if this condition is true, so if we have more heavy oil than light oil, output signal C. And if we have enough heavy oil to do so, like the minimal threshold of 500. So only if we have two signal C, this should kick in. So for that, we're going to set up the enable condition that the signal C right now is on because C is bigger than zero. But if we set it to C is bigger than one, like that, only if both conditions are true, we have a signal C of bigger than one, a signal C of two, then this cracking will start. And that's it. I set up the same already down here with the minor difference that here we don't check the light oil. Instead, we check the petroleum gas. So only if we have less than a certain threshold of petroleum gas, it should start cracking. With that, we make sure that these tanks don't completely fill up. Because we also want a certain um, margin so that the chemical plant can continue producing oil. So this produces oil, distributes it to the tanks. Should we have an imbalance, these uh, chemical plants kick in and start to crack the, the oil. But make sure that this one is never completely empty and this one is never completely full in a nutshell. Cool, isn't it? And that's it for the oil processing. So I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any input or suggestions, or if you want me to make a tutorial on anything specific, please let me know down in the comment section. If you appreciated this tutorial, smack that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you better do or I'll make you walk the plank. This is Captain Concept, and I wish you a fabulous day. And make sure that you always have a hands-width of water under your keel. Arr!